They spot the clues and solve the cases. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 TV detectives. I worked for eight months in the Samantha Bell murder. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're ranking TV detectives from the UK, as well as those whose shows are made primarily for British audiences. Today's entries do not necessarily have to hold the title of detective, but they should be well known for detecting crime and catching criminals. So grab a sidekick and get your magnifying glass. The game is on. I'm a fake. Sherlock. Number 10, Jonathan Creek. Jonathan Creek. How did you do it? It's mine, numbingly banal. Tell me, I have to know. A guy with a gift for solving puzzles, Creek's other job sees him design tricks for magicians. So when he meets Maddie, an investigative journalist, they team up to put his talents to good use by tackling many a mystery. It might be worth you giving that hospital a ring in the morning. Have a word with the doctor who removed his wart. Jonathan starts as a shy and reclusive chap, and in many ways, Maddie's opposite. But she soon gets him out of his shell, striding through crime scenes in his signature duffel coat. So, do you want to know how it was done? Yes. That makes two of us. Number nine, Jim Taggart. Taggart. Do you believe in God, Billy? No. Well, you better start, because you're in big trouble. Said in Glasgow, Taggart was one of Britain's longest running crime dramas. Having worked his way through the ranks, DCI Jim Taggart was straight out of the old school. A tough, no-nonsense investigator who often clashed with younger members of the force, he always got results. Did you ever read Alice in Wonderland, Peter? Curiouser and curiouser. In the end, it was a nightmare. Jim was played by Mark McManus until the actor's death in 1994, while Taggart is still remembered for his well-rounded cries of murder, a go-to line for any attempt on a Scottish accent. I'm surprised you're not angry. I mean, here we are questioning you about a murder. Number eight, Miss Marple. Miss Marple. Oh, no, no, no. What she couldn't live with was the fact that she was a murderer. She's one of Agatha Christie's most famous characters, consistently adapted for film and TV since she was created in 1927. Oh, dear. Joan Hickson played Marple for a BBC series starting in the 80s and made the character her own. A sweet old lady who doubles up as a consulting detective for the St. Mary Mead Police, it's impossible not to love her. Well, I don't think I've ever been complimented quite like that in my life before, Inspector. An unassuming figure who cracks cases with sheer intelligence, the cops would be lost without her. Well, I was just thinking of how many other people might want the Colonel out of the way. Number seven, Tom Barnaby, Midsummer Murders. Got a couple of burglaries, car theft. Nothing much to hurry in for. DCI for the county of Midsummer. You might think it'd be easy for John Nettles Barnaby to police a rural community, but you'd be wrong. Throughout his 13 series run, he encountered an unprecedented murder rate and solved them all. Go on, get her out of here. <laughs> a TV crime classic, Midsummer Murders established Tom Barnaby as one of the country's favorite detectives if only for his knack of maintaining a sense of calm when the victims are dropping like flies around him. His cousin took the lead from series 14, but Tom's a truly tough act to follow. Her and Gerald Hadley could have been banging each other. Banging each other. What a delightfully picturesque turn of friends. Number six, John Luther. Luther. Excuse me. Bag that, grab that, thank you. Playing on the flawed but brilliant archetype, DCI John Luther is about as badass as they come. After the breakdown of his marriage, he's determined to prove himself. As such, he's devoted to his job, but becomes obsessive over cases, often letting his emotions get the better of him. No! 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 Played by Idris Elba, Luther's less admirable traits are especially evident thanks to an unconventional relationship with the genius psychopath, Alice Morgan. And an orthodox operator, this is a bloke you do not want to cross. Number five, Hercule Poirot. Agatha Christie's Poirot. What on earth is he doing here? Another Agatha Christie creation, Poirot is probably one of the most famous detectives in the world. But David Suchet's incarnation makes today's top five. So you yourself are a suspect? Now look here, Poirot. No, 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 monsieur, je fais une blague, I make the joke. Uh -huh. A prim and proper character with pristine suits, a meticulous moustache, and a thick Belgian accent, 
He's less hands-on than some, instead using supreme logic to solve the mystery. A brains over brawn master, and as charming as they come, nothing gets past this guy. Do not actually kill him, huh? Number 4. Jack Reagan, The Sweeney I think it's about time we had a word with a certain bent brief of our mutual acquaintance. A 1970s drama which focuses on the London Met Flying Squad, whose job it is to investigate violent crime and robbery, The Sweeney is led by Detective Inspector Jack Reagan, played by John Thor. A standard bearer for TV detective tropes, he's a smoker, a heavy drinker, and he doesn't play by the rules. I was never part of that. Of what? The robbery! But you don't know anything about a robbery! You don't know anything about anything! That's what you said, Brenda! He'll even break the law himself to get the outcome he wants. Reagan still has pretty strong morals, however. He's a tough officer with a quick temper, but loyal to his squad all the same. Thanks, Jack. You saved my life. Number 3. Ellie Miller, Broadchurch. Morning. We got your coffee? I don't drink coffee. Of course you don't. Playing good cop to Alec Hardy's bad, Ali Miller proved a standout character in ITV's hugely popular Broadchurch. She's local to the West Country community, where the police typically have little to do, and she has the trust and friendship of almost everyone around her. So these are my friends, people I've known all my life who can't let them down. But everything changes upon the death of her son's best friend, Danny Latimer. Ellie tries to remain positive, but as the case unfolds, more and more of her friends fall under suspicion. Still, she's damn good at her job. Do not get distracted. Our duty is still to the Latimer family. Number 2. Endeavour Moores Inspector Moores Then I hope it isn't you, Moores. Because you keep turning up like a bad penny. A series so popular it spawned two spin-offs, John Thor again takes the lead role, only this time his character is a little older and a little more sophisticated. A middle-class gent with a fondness for ale, Morse and his partner Lewis seem to solve any crime thrown his way, no matter how impossible the task may seem. Oh, it wasn't suicide, sir. No, 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 it was murder. He successfully deduced his way through seven series, plus five further annual specials, continually raising the bar for British TV detectives everywhere. You haven't finished your beer? No, I'm off the beer. I can't think why. Number one, Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock. The name Sherlock Holmes and the address is 221B Baker Street. Did you guess? The embodiment of the classic British detective who has influenced so many other characters, Sherlock is an unparalleled investigator, and Benedict Cumberbatch's portrayal is perfect. Casting the character into the contemporary world, BBC Sherlock sees Cumberbatch work as a consulting detective for the London police, aided by the war vet Watson. Please, I've been cooped up here for ages. You're just showing off. Of course, I am a show off, that's what we do. At times he seems a burden and all but impossible to work with, but nothing trumps the mind palace. Not even Sherlock's enigmatic rival Moriarty. He's very high functioning and he takes the win. You want me to shake hands with you in hell, I shall not disappoint you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.